This device right here is where Wi-Fi hacking begins. If you've ever wondered how hackers crack passwords, create the authentication attacks on Wi-Fi networks, or even create evil twin access points, it all starts with the right tools. And today, I'm gonna to give you a full starter kit for Wi-Fi hacking for beginners. But first and foremost, this is a full disclaimer that this is for educational purposes only. So any activity you do, make sure you're doing it legally and ethically. You can't hack Wi-Fi with just your Wi-Fi network card that comes with your computer. You will need a Wi-Fi adapter like this one that supports monitor mode and packet ejection. And what monitor mode will allow you to do is basically see the invisible around you. Um, and your Wi-Fi network card in your computer just can't do that. You need to be able to enable monitor mode. And you'll be able to do those that with a few Wi-Fi network adapters. This one in particular is a Alpha AWOS, I think 036 ACM. I will um, drop this in the description below. There are some other uh, Wi-Fi adapters that you could also utilize. I think Alpha has a few other ones as well. And Panda, uh, the Panda line has some as well that supports monitor mode. The difference between most of them, either one will support 2.4 gigahertz or some will put also support 5g network so that's something you also want to consider when selecting a wi-fi network adapter if you want to kind of target um, 5g networks you will want a wi-fi network adapter that can support 2.4 g's as well as 5g but again i'll drop some recommendations in the description below to allow you to be able to do that when i first started trying to get into wi-fi hacking I was trying to do all these different things based on what I saw. And I, it wasn't working, but it was because I didn't have a Wi-Fi adapter. So that is the number one tool you will need to actually get started with Wi-Fi hacking. Once you have the proper hardware, you also want to make sure you have the proper software to go with it. And what other software goes well with an alpha Wi-Fi adapter or just the number one hacking software out there Kali Linux. Most Wi-Fi adapters are supported with Kali Linux, so it's usually just plug and play. But Kali is basically the gold standard for any form of cybersecurity work, pen testing work, or ethical hacking hacking work. So you can run it live, you could do a dual boot, or you can virtualize it in a VM like VirtualBox or VMware. Having this actual software will allow you to run the tools that we will need to use when Wi-Fi hacking like Aircrack NG, Airmine NG, and Airplay NG, and all of these fall under the Aircrack NG bubble. This will allow you to actually see all the things that we want to see. Once you have your Kali Linux box and your Wi-Fi adapter, here are the tools that you will need and every beginner should know and what they should do. So first and foremost, we have Arrow Dump NG. This will allow you to scan your nearby networks, basically see all the invisible networks around you, basically see what they're running on is it wpa3 wpa2 and this will basically tell you what kind of security they have on their wi-fi and basically allow us to see what we're working with and how we'll move forward number two we want to know about air crack ng this allows us to crack handshakes so what are handshakes you ask we'll get to that in a different video but basically a handshake is hey i'm here i'm the wi-fi I am connecting to this Wi-Fi. We create a handshake, we meet, we talking to each other. That's simplest terms on what a handshake is, but we'll get to that in another video. And we have Air Replay NG. So what this allows us to do is de-authenticate clients to capture handshakes. So de-authentication means basically you're kicking someone off a network or the Wi-Fi that you're targeting to allow them to try to reconnect to that Wi-Fi because once they reconnect, we can now capture a handshake. Again, when I'm trying to connect to a Wi-Fi or a network, 
I say, hey, it's me. I want to connect to this Wi-Fi. I connect it. That has created a handshake. And as an ethical hacker, I am capturing that handshake. We have Wireshark. This will allow us to analyze these packets that we will be able to capture once we start doing that. And then we have Hashcat. Once we capture that packet, we will uh, be able to use Hashcat to actually crack the Wi-Fi password ethically. So these are going to be those tools that every beginner should know. Again, I'm going to drop all this in the description for y'all so y'all be able to play around with it, look some stuff up if you want to, and do whatever you want to do with it. And just a reminder, we want to make sure that we're doing this ethically and legally. So the best way to do this is having your own lab set up. You can nine times out of 10, just use your own personal network. That's what I do. I just um, have a separate network. So I have a WPA2 network because WPA2 networks are hackable. WPA3 is a little bit more tricky. That's my main one, but you want to be able to either use an old router or a test device to capture your own um, handshakes. And that will allow you to be able to do this in a lab setting allow you to test for however long you want to test and just doing it with your own permission just because you don't want to be trying to do something over there with your neighbor's network and you know it's not legal right right so just make sure when you're doing this you can test however much you want to test but just make sure you're doing it on a network of your own or a network you have permission to test on. If you are actually willing to or wanting to get more into Wi-Fi hacking, again, this video is just in, just for beginners, but you also can use other tools like Better Cap or Wi-Fi Lite or Wi-Fi, I think how you, that's how you say it. Um, but just, you can explore. It's just like any other thing, any other tool, any other new thing. Explore, see what you like, mess around with things, and that's how you get better. That's how you learn. If you do um, want something a little more intuitive uh, outside of just a Wi-Fi adapter, you could get a Wi-Fi pineapple. But again, since I said this is just a beginner's uh, for beginners, I wouldn't necessarily go that far in advance just yet. If you are serious about ethical hacking or Wi-Fi hacking and getting better, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. This is just the beginning for you as well as the beginning for me as I unpack my Wi-Fi hacking journeys. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and see y'all for the next Wi-Fi hacking or regular video y'all keep it easy y'all keep hacking and see y'all at the next one